hey guys so you're welcome to my youtube channel uh I, this is the third time i'm having to record this tutorial i, I was having some issues right trying to um with my audio basically and i actually had a very amazing mad mad i mean as in when i say mad i mean mad mad intro for you guys before but man for this this is number three and i don't know if i can still do that but anyway sure, this is just how i shot and edited this this image i really want you guys to uh see what i did for those that's for those of you who have been asking me quite a number of persons have messaged me and even based on the poll i ran on instagram about how i edited this image so i'm just going to show you quickly all my layers and i will not go as in-depth as i i, I plan to just for time Nevertheless, based on all of this, I believe more tutorials will come out so you can ask me questions, uh, how I did what and what, I mean the specifics of this particular image. So yeah, this is the before and this is the after, this is the before and this is the after. So quickly, this from this before, I'm sure you can already see this line here. That's because for my, I used two lights for this image and the reflector. Alright, for my key light, for my key light, I used a uh, seven foot parabolic Godox umbrella. Excuse me, uh, a seven foot parabolic, parabolic Godox. Ah, wow, so many, so many, so many words. A seven foot parabolic Godox umbrella, right? Yeah, uh, that's the very big umbrella. I'm sure you know what that looks like. If you don't, you could just check up on Google or when I eventually do a behind the scenes, I can show you the umbrella. And then behind, I use a 120 cm umbrella as my lights. I use the speed lights here. But yeah, for the seven foot, I use the Godox AD600 strobe that I own. That's my main light. And then for my uh, background lighting, I used uh, a Godox V862 speed light. Yes, that was my second light in here as my as my background in the 120cm umbrella that I fused with this white material. So very quickly, I just go over this edit some one by one to show you what I did. Okay, so the first thing I did was my frequency separation, micro and global dodge and bond. So. Um, yeah, this is if without the fs this is with the fs is frequency separation yeah i got this action from prince mason yeah so he's a very good photographer so you can check out his channel prince mason he has amazing great great amazing stuff there all right so i got this action from him uh so i i, I use my mixer brush for my frequency separation i can show you on how that works later on next i did was my global and micro dungeon bun all in the same just because of time, I, I, I had very little time to run this edit, so I, I just quickly mixed up both of them in the same folder and the same um, process. All right, so you can see the fun after the and then I fixed the excess shadows under his eyes here. Next thing I did was to uh, add some contrast using, um, I, think it was, I believe it was the platinum, platinum um, gradient map. Yes, platinum, that's what I use here. Just did a, change my, soft light send my blending mode soft light and uh, drop the opacity to 45 percent and then this was the main thing i did i used the gold 2 gold 2 is um gradient map here oh no not gold 2 this was gold 1 sorry so normally when i do that i'll change my blending mode soft light and drop my opacity but that was what changed this i didn't plan to do this immediately i just put on put up this um so, so you see there's really no there's no limit to creativity just Make it out as, it, as 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 you move along, and I mean, just try out new things. Try out new things. Don't be scared. To try out new things. That's really really how a lot of creative um works are born. So normally I would have done that, change my blending mode and my opacity, but I just left it like this. I, I like how it was looking like. All right, so and it was looking too green, a bit too green. So I used my color balance to make it look more gold and have this more brownish feel. Added more pops, more pops to my to my um highlights here using my levels and then using this black and white layer. I added more pops with black and white as well. So I just had a merge layer here and fixed this. Um, just look look at this point on this shoulder. I just fixed that using the uh, using the liquify. Yes, this is without this and with the liquify. And then I did a more more contrast to the image again using. Uh, it's still on gradient map. I add most of my contrast using gradient map levels or the black and white layer. And then the last thing I did was to add my sharpening. So here, all you have to do is just to create a merge layer. That's um, Command Shift and E. If you're using Mac, I believe on Windows Control Shift E. Come to your image adjustments. Um, go to your brightness and contrast. Drop contrast to zero. 
then uh, you come come back here to this and see one same way i go see a filter um image high pass take the opacity to like 2.0 or depending on how sharp you want to be why i usually don't like don't exceed 2.0 that's best practice so let's say like 1.8 so it's looking like a, like a 50% gray layer, uh, that's normal. Just come to your blending mode and change blending mode to soft light. All right, so you can see the sharpness here. Let's, this is the before. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but it's quite obvious on my on my Mac. All right, so then let me just delete this layer. And then the last thing I did, I added my watermark here, basically, that's all. So I really hope this audio has not cut again and you could hear every single thing I said. So yeah. Uh, I would love to drop more, more and more and more and more tutorial videos for you guys. All you have to do is just let me know what you want. Let me know the exact tutorial you need, what you want to learn, what you want me to show you, how I do, and I will always be willing to drop videos for you to see. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button if you like this video and also share with your friends who want, who would love to know how I did this or how I shot this image. Your friends who are photographers or, or who just love Photoshop. I mean, you don't have to be a photographer to know how to retouch images. People actually, actually, I don't know, they found their living, they make a living just by retouching images, right? So it's something that you could just learn as a side hustle if you want, or as a main hustle, depending on how far you want to take it. So yeah, just check out my work on Instagram at Story of Elvis. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.